Hello, and welcome to a figure review of um, Sork and Throw from the Pokemon ID se ID Tag series. Um, not sure if that's the official name of the thing, but that's what I put in the video description because that's the best description as I can think of. Uh, these are black and white generation Pokemon, at least for the most part, as you can see. Uh, I picked this up at Tokyo Toys in London. Um, I'm sure you can get them in Toys R Us and other places. If we take a look at the side, it says that it is Series 1. So I'm assuming they're going to do as they did with, well, all the other Pokemon figures uh, for several years. And have other series and packs and such. So if we take a look very quickly. Snivy and Panpo, there's Oshawott and Pansia, there's Beartic and Bravery. That's a pack that I didn't see, but it's pretty cool. Uh, Scraggy and Yamask, another pack I didn't see. Actually, I don't think I saw many of these in the shop. Falkranoa and Drudigan. There's Tepig and Pansage, actually, are these? Ah, I see. Um, basically, there's the three starters, and they come with the uh, monkey type that they are strong against. Then there's Excadrill, Dan Damanitan, there's Throw and Sork, which is what I've got. There's Pikachu and Kyrem. And there's Keldeo and Krigonal. Krigonal. Also, interestingly, I noticed, I have seen this in a few places, uh, the Pokedex. Which is pretty cool. Apart from the fact that, I'm not sure if you can tell there, really, but basically it has an LC, um, LED kind of... Well, I'm not even sure if it's an LED. What do you call the display for calculators? I'll put a caption in the video. But basically, it's that. It's not even backlit. It doesn't look that great. But you do have like, ID tags with these figures. Uh, there's also the pack that you can buy of the Pokedex. It comes with Pikachu, a Pokeball, some ID tags, and fingerless gloves. Or well, one fingerless glove. I think it says Pokemon on it. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Ish. Uh, it's the trainer kit. Okay, and produced by Tomy, uh, as all the other ones were. Uh, so as you can see, they look pretty detailed, they've got ID tags. I shall proceed to open them, and I will be right back. Okay, let's start with the ID tags. Uh, they're the same, so I'll just show you one. And um, That's throw was one, throw, no. Judo crack, wow, that's French. It gives you the weight and the height. It, uh, it's yeah, okay. Oh, it gives you in pounds and kilograms and height in feet and meters. That's pretty cool. Uh, for different systems and such. On the back, I'm assuming this is how the uh, Pokedex reads it because uh, it's fighting type. Um, obviously. But, yeah, I think the Pokedex reads these really weird line things because this is cardboard. Like, feels very cardboard-esque. Um, it's a bit perplexing, really. Then I guess the backs do look different, kind of? Yeah, okay. So that's how it reads it. Um, a bit disappointed, really. A bit perplexed by such old technology. I mean... Even if the scanny things are fairly new technology, it's still a bit odd that they haven't... I don't know. Um, maybe it's just a bit of a gimmick. There, there was those Star Wars figures back in, like, early 2000s. You had, like, the voice chips and such. Anyway, on to the main event. Here are the figures, as you can see, very detailed. Now, something I didn't realise about Sork until I watched the anime is that he only has a part of his face covered by this black thing. I always assumed, because you saw him either from that direction or there in the games, that he just had this all the way around, but he doesn't. Uh, it looks a bit derpy, to be honest. It looks a bit... I don't know. I don't even know what they were going for there. Uh, he does, however, have a judo suit on, which is really cool. If you look at the back, it says all the Tommy stuff. Um, as you can see, the you know the attention to detail is brilliant. I mean, chances are, if you re if you're watching this, you may have already got some Pokemon figures, and you know, you'll know that they're painted well. 
they're always good quality. They're a bit expensive, but you know, it's kind of worth it, and it won't even focus. Uh, see, even down to his hands. Um, but yeah, that is Sork. Personally speaking, one of my favourites from 5th gen. And this is Throw. He's a bit bulkier. Um, sorry, uh, he's wearing a karate outfit, he's wearing a judo outfit. Um, actually, they're wearing the same outfit, basically. But see, Throw has the whole full head thing and an X on his head. Because he's badass and really grumpy. He looks really, really grumpy. Uh, pink is a tiny bit off on the eyes there. And I don't know what's up with the nose. That's a bit off as well. But... On the whole, from a distance, because you're probably not going to be inspecting these with the uh, magnifying effect of a camera. He looks really good. Um, and now, in the packaging, they looked kind of small. However, I have an old figure here, a Sharpedo, that I bought a few weeks ago. And he's basically the same size. As you can see, they're not that much different in size. Now, there are other bigger figures, obviously. But, as it goes, I think these are basically the size you'd get. So, all in all, I would suggest possibly buying these. Now, £10 is quite a lot. That's £5 a figure, and... Really, unless you're really keen on the Pokemon you get, both of them... It's not really worth it. They are very highly detailed and very collectible. There's 649 of them so far, but X and Y is coming out soon, so 700 and something, probably. So yeah, I bought this because I love Sork and Throw. They're both really awesome Pokemon. But if you're not keen on one of them in the pack, maybe suggest looking around on eBay or something for them instead. Uh, but yeah, well, that's about it. As a rating, I would give them maybe 8 or a 10. Uh, the price is a bit too high, really, especially for the size, because, again, they're not massive, but they're not tiny. Uh, sorry, the other way around. They're not tiny, but then they're not massive either. So the thing is, you're paying the same amount now, well, you're paying for the same amount of Pokemon now as you were years ago. I'm fairly sure you could get one or two of these for around £6. Uh, the fact that each is a fiver is quite a lot, especially for these ID tags. These ID tags, personally speaking, aren't brilliant. I mean, maybe they'll be really helpful if you're a fan of the Pokedex they made, uh, which I may review if I can find it for cheap. But I don't know. It doesn't really... The price let it down. But equally, if you you know have a bit of money to spare, really want some nice quality Pokemon figures, these are really, really nice. So uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.